Hi, and welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner as we talk Ponca City High School track. And certainly track is a very interesting subject these days for us here in Ponca City. A lot of concern for boys track coach Pat Gray. If you were not informed, Coach Gray was injured in a motorcycle car accident and uh, continues to be hospitalized. Our guest today is uh, serving as the interim boys track coach, Alan Hibbler, who also helps out with the uh, girls track team as well. And Coach, I appreciate you being here. I guess a good place to start would be uh, with the responsibilities that uh, you have now had laid upon you, and a lot of different coaches have pitched in to get the boys and track girls programs through the rest of the season. Well, you know, the number one thing is uh, Pat's doing a whole lot better. Talked to his wife last night, and he is out of the ICU unit and into a private room and everything, and being able to get around and. Uh, you know, we're just we're just happy for his health and his recovery as it's going and things. And uh, you know, fortunately here in Ponca City, we've got a great great coaching staff. And uh, you know, a very unfortunate accident. We had a lot of things thrown into our lap, but everybody's really picked up the slack. Uh, you know, we've got help from the girls' side and the boys' side, and uh, we've been able to kind of divide responsibilities up among all our coaches so we can keep the kids headed in the right direction and keep them working hard and. Uh, the kids have done a great job of, of responding to this adversity and, you know, continue to push ahead while showing concern for Coach Gray. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to a good end of the track season as we quickly approach regionals. Uh, you know, luckily for me, I had been a head track coach years ago when I was at Hydro before I came to uh, Ponca City uh, years ago. So, uh, you know, we have some knowledge in it there. and. Uh, you know, basically it's just getting everything organized and finding out where Pat Gray had everything and continuing on with that. Uh, you know, right now we've kind of got the breakdown where I was coaching all the distance kids to begin with, the 800 meters and up, and I've continued to do that. Uh, Lee Guess has taken over the boys' sprinters. Uh, that used to be Pat's specialty, and Lee had the girls' sprinters, but now he's just absorbed them all. We have Brian Darnell, who's our throw coach on the boys' and girls' side, and Lonnie Gillen, who's our pole vault coach on the boys' and girls' side, and Trina Jones, who also helps with our high jumpers and long jumpers there. So, uh, you know, we've been able to keep things running smooth, and, you know, the kids have handled this adversity, the setback, really well, and uh, they're just doing a great job, and we're, we're looking forward to moving on down towards the end of the season. We've got a couple big meets coming up that we're going to be hosting here in Ponca City. So really excited about where the track program is going and what the kids are doing. A lot of people may not realize, you know, Coach Hibbler is our boys basketball coach. And, you know, it's just the nature of the beast that that sport is one that maybe is a little more in the limelight just because it's basketball. But, but uh, uh, your days at Hydro, you very proudly display some state championship uh, memorabilia from your days at Hydro when you were the track coach there. Well, I, I was very fortunate uh, and very, uh, walked into a very good situation there. We had some very, very talented young men and women that, uh, that performed extraordinarily on the basketball court, but also on the track and the cross-country course, uh, able to win four different state championships in my time there. And, uh, you know, all the credit goes to those kids. They were extremely hardworking and things. And, you know, they just kind of took me along for the ride and, uh, you know, I learned a lot of things from those kids. That they had a good cross country and track program when I got there, and we were able to continue it and build on it. Uh, you know, a lot of times it pays to be lucky and a uh, very lucky individual at that time. And you know, through those, through the efforts of those young men and women, uh, you know, I was able to make a lot of connections in the track and field community because we had a number of them that went on and performed at the next level in track and field and cross country and. Uh, you know, it's, it's amazing the vast knowledge out there and these high school coaches that we have in Oklahoma are great about sharing it. Uh, you know, we've, we've been to a couple meet, a meet since Pat uh, had his motorcycle accident and, you know, great concern from the other coaches in Oklahoma, uh, you know, willing to help our kids out in any way possible. You know, hey, uh, you, can't get a, you can't get a guy to a long jump because you have so many responsibilities. Hey, we'll help your kids out and things. Uh, it's one of the great things about the track and field community. I mean, the coaches there are there for the kids. And, uh, you know, if, if they can help a kid out with a, with a point or a technique, tip or something, uh, you know, in Oklahoma, that, that's what happens. And, uh, you know, the, that's one of the great things about track and field. I mean, it's a very close-knit community in the state of Oklahoma. And, 
Uh, you know everybody from going to these track meets and things, and everybody helps everybody. Track is only as good as the participants, and in many cases, the number of participants. And uh, by the fact that we have yourself along with four other coaches, I would assume that the numbers in our track program are continuing to grow in a positive direction. Definitely continuing to grow. We, we've got about 40 to 45 boys out at, for track right now and probably about 35 girls. So, you know, we're, we're pushing 80, 90 as a total number. Uh, great, great kids. Uh, they're, they're good in the classroom. Their work ethics are really good. And, uh, you know, it's exciting to see these kids come out and perform each and every weekend or weekday, whenever we have a track meet. I mean, you know, track's not the most glorious sport. I mean, it, it does really get the big crowds and everything. And, uh, you know, it's one of the truly individual sports that, uh, you know, we still have in, in, our, in our society and things. And, uh, you know, the, these kids work extremely hard and they put forth a lot of effort and a lot of sacrifices. Uh, you know, a lot of times it's really cold or it's really hot and things. I mean, it's not the mo best weather every time we go out. But, uh, you know, the kids put out great effort. I'm really proud of them. i uh, really, really proud of the boys and the way they've handled this. I mean, they just picked up, they've kind of picked up the baton and uh, made my situation as well as the other coaches' situation, you know, a whole, a whole lot easier because, you know, they've kind of taken it upon themselves, you know, hey, We've got some adversity here with Coach Gray's accident, so we're just going to roll up our sleeves. We're going to go to work, and you know we're going to get done what Coach Gray wanted us to get done. And you know me, I, I'm just kind of able to guide the ship. I mean, they are doing a great job. Thank goodness uh, you don't have to go through these type of uh, situations very often. And in fact, you're fortunate you never have to go through one. But uh, I don't know whether you've ever been through something like this when. Uh, uh, coach is injured and everybody else has to pick up the slack, but uh, how have the kids, what has been their attitude? Because I guess it could go two ways. One would be the, the downward way or one would be what would Coach Gray want us to do? Which way have the kids gone? Well, the, they're on the upward swing. I mean, we talked about that the very first day when I kind of took over as the, <clears throat> as the interim coach. And, uh, you know, I, I told them, I said, you know, the number one thing here is, first of all, we want Coach Gray to get his health back and get back to us as quickly as possible because that's our number one concern. I said, but the number, the second concern is, you know, we, we want to do exactly what Coach Gray would have expected of us. Uh, you know, we, we don't want to try to make any big changes. We want to continue down that road <clears throat> that he had us headed down. And, uh, you know, I told the kids, you know, the best thing that we can do for him is we can perform as to the very best of our ability. Uh, you know, we've got, we've got regionals approaching here in about 15, 18 days. And, you know, we want to qualify as many kids to the state track meet as possible. And, you, uh, the, you know, that'll be one of the best recovery things that he can get is that, you know, the fact that the kids have put forth great effort, we've been able to get some of them to the state track meet. And hopefully, you know, everything will come into place. Let's talk about uh, 